here this evening. So put on your Hawaiian shirt and join them for a summer luau. They're bringing in some of the best food trucks in town with a variety of drinks available. Don't forget your lawn chairs, appetite, and make sure you bring your family and friends. That is the breaks in downtown Hayes inviting you to their first Friday pop-up at the Pavilion tonight, running from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. Band of Silver, Sam Smith, says that Miley Cyrus to wind down our 9 o'clock hour. You're listening to KISS 104.7. Storm season is here, and State Farm agent Brock Whitmore and the Weather Eye Weather Center has you covered all season. When the rain pours and the hail falls, tune into the Weather Eye Weather Center to find out breaking information about the immediate threat of severe weather. State Farm agent Brock Whitmore and the Weather Eye Weather Center, keeping you safe from the storm. You, my new obsession. <laughs> Good ag information from the Ag Network. I'm Ken Rogers. The Senate late yesterday easily cleared the bill suspending the debt ceiling by a vote of 63 to 36. 46 Democrats, 17 Republicans voted for the bill. President Biden said after the vote, no one gets everything they want in a negotiation. But make no mistake, the bipartisan agreement is a big win for the economy and the American people. House Republicans are saying now they may take another look at tightening SNAP work requirements. But Senate Ag Committee Chair Debbie Stabenow said the issue is settled and will not be addressed again in the upcoming farm bill. But uh, Chairman of the House Ag Committee Glenn G.T. Thompson says not so fast. We may still take a look at it as we continue on with the farm bill negotiations. Well, USDA has laid out an action plan to move towards a national hearing on the National Milk Producers Federation proposal to overhaul the federal milk marketing order. I'm Ken Rogers. This is Sue Schulte with the Kansas Corn Minute. Did you know the Kansas Corn Commission's top priority is market development, with over 60% of its budget going to build domestic and export markets for corn and corn products like red meat and ethanol. We work to increase availability and sales of ethanol fuel in Kansas, and thanks to those efforts, you can buy E15 and higher ethanol blends at close to 100 stations across the state. We've also played a part in increasing E85 use in California by 60% by helping build infrastructure in that growing market. The Kansas Corn Commission continues to focus on increasing exports of U.S. beef and pork through the successful efforts of the U.S. Meat Export Federation, and we continue to focus on building strong international demand for corn and corn products like ethanol and DDGs through the U.S. Grains Council's worldwide network. Want to learn more? Watch your mailbox for the Kansas Corn Annual Reports or read them online at kscorn.com. Minutes, non-stop. Hey, music. Starts now. Ladies and gentlemen. The biggest dance of music. Kiss 104.7. We were good. 